Okay, to my left here, I have Terry Gilworth, senior running back. Uh, just to my right, uh, Clark Ashmore, senior quarterback. And on the outside, Tristan Patterson, junior, uh, defensive line, offensive line. Question? Well, Coach, I if you could address this first. Is this some, has this kind of sunk in yet when you guys were confident succeeding after making semifinals fly from being close? And this time, you, you went over that hurdle big time. Today. No, you know, we, uh, when we came out of the, uh, semifinal game, you know, we made it clear to all the kids and the kids as well, and they knew it, that uh, we had our eye on the prize, and that prize being the state championship. Uh, and just as, as we set that whole deal up and thought about uh, the way we were gonna, the way that we were gonna approach this week and uh, the doing things right from the way we ate to the way we uh, worked out to our schedule uh, and our coaching staff, I mean, it was just a, it, it was one big focus to this. So to answer your question about sinking in, I don't think so, not yet. <laughs> okay, well, that, that's so strict. You guys haven't been behind much of at all this year, and they come out and make it 6 nothing, And uh, maybe that did kind of shell shock you maybe a little bit, and kind of, and maybe it kind of woke you up and think, you know, we're, we're a team that's kind of on our level right now. Do you think that, that maybe it's a little bit more gratifying, the fact that you guys, you know, show what you can do and you take a little bit of adversity? One thing we do, we have a lot of confidence in, uh, in in our coaching staff, and we know we said we always tell our kids this: that we're going to figure them out. You know, we're going to figure them out. Uh, either our kids are going to figure them out, or we're going to figure them out, and we're going to get back out there and whatever it takes, we're going to get it done. So uh, we feel like uh, after that first drive, and actually the first quarter, we felt like that uh, we kind of figured them out, and our kids started playing a little tougher and. Um, you know, lining up correctly and coming off football. And I, I think we just kept it steady. I, I think they were hyped up a little bit. And, uh, uh, you know, once uh, the new wore off of it, then, then we started playing really well. And this is for the players, first state championship for Wellington Internet. What are we talking about real quick? We've been all those fans up there. Feels great. <laughs> <laughs> and has not really sunk in, like Coach Williams said? We're just uh, we're ready to go and meet up with the fans because there's a ton of them here. Uh, we know they're proud and uh, we're proud. Uh, we're just ready to bring this one back to Wellington. The first drive, can you go to the first drive? They score, go down and score on you, and you guys pretty much handle it the rest of the, the way. You know, it's six six and a half. But can you talk on that? What changed out there? Um, when we first went out there, we had a emotion and it was just so overwhelming seeing everything, and we. Once they scored, we calmed down and we realized we had to play our kind of football. We had to play fast and keep the edge. Hey, Terry, just for you, um, for, um, you were a little slow starting the game. You didn't have a lot of big run first couple of drives. But then after that, you kind of got in the groove. You had 185 yards. I mean, that's some games better than that statistically this year. Um, what do you think kind of happened for you? You know, what was those first, what was the difference between those first couple of drives and after that, you kind of, you know, were running like you knew know, what you were capable of? Well, at the beginning, just tried to stay in the middle. It wasn't, I wasn't trying to break or anything, but if it happened, it would happen. And like, as I started getting it going, as I started getting going, <laughs> I started going. Um, mom was blocking well, and it was just great play calls by our coaches. Clark, their defense had eight shutouts, a lot of fun, you know, and you know, you guys played a really nice defensive game tonight. Can you talk about that, how that, were you a little motivated to show, hey, we we wanted to show them how we play up in the Panhandle. Uh, I mean, there's not a lot of teams that have been playing up there in a long time, so we wanted to make a statement uh, coming out and shutting them down and then scoring fast, uh, just playing our game, like Tristan said, and uh, just just playing hard. I mean, play with their play, play with purpose. That's what we did. Now, Clark, it looked like you may have been a little bit of pain at times out there. I mean, you played both sides of the ball. You were, I don't know if you were off the field for a single play in this game. Um, what was it like to you? Sure, you just thinking, you know, we got to push through this. You know, my senior years, is we can really go out and make memories. It kind of what was the nature of your injuries. Really, well, hurt uh, it wasn't any injuries. It was just that that field out there sucks the energy out of you. It's so humid in there. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, when you're running around, and you don't. I mean, we've been used to playing in 15 degree weather, so <laughs> I mean, it's a little different. You got to get used to it at first, but I mean, you got to be tough to play out there. And, uh, well, everybody out there played. I mean, most of the guys played both sides of the ball. I mean, Show a lot of toughness, and I mean, it's just a will to win because we've we've been close, and we were just we were determined to win this one. Hey, Coach, wait. any adjustments yeah. you made after the first 18 minutes they shut you out, and you scored twice <coughs> in six minutes and a half? 
you know, I, I don't know if there's any adjustments. I know there's some things that we didn't we feel like that we did did well the first half. Um, when we came off the field, we had a lot of injury, a lot of energy, a lot of mom uh, momentum there with that stop. And uh, defensively, we were just sharing up our, our coverages a little bit, and we wanted to keep the same defensive game plan. Uh, offensively, uh, you know, we spoke with Coach Hart at halftime, and we, we felt like we kind of got the attitude, hey, let's take this thing right at them. And we might not have had that, you know, at the, at the beginning of the game, but that was kind of the attitude change, I think. Way to go. Clark and Terry are kind of heart and soul guys of the team, but a lot of other guys stepped up today on occasion, like yeah. number 12 running the one in. Yeah. No, we had, and, we uh, had an overall money yeah. covered the fumbles, things like that. We had an overall performance, and, you know, uh, throughout the season, there's no doubt, uh, Clark's the guy that keeps it going, Terry's the go-to guy, uh, those two guys keep it going, then the offensive line, who was our underdog starting the, line, start of the year, uh, Tristan Patterson and those guys, they came on, and and uh, to me, they just kept getting better, better each week. I think, uh, uh, you know, one thing for us as the playoffs started, we found we found our identity as a defense, and that that was what was big for us. And that's what I think that's what uh, you know kept us going. What is that identity? Well, it's won the ball on team speed, and you know, every man take care of his his job. Hey, Tristan, I, as a senior, I know I get you guys you and Clark been playing together now for and a whole bunch of guys. Been this, how, how gratifying was this? You know, there's something you guys discussed a couple of years back, like, you know, we're going to leave here with the state championship. Is that how much of a tangible role is that for you? And how good, as I don't know, maybe you have to suck in, how good does it feel right now just knowing you've done something else in the school history is done? Well, as a town, everybody wanted this. It's not just our team. Everybody's been talking to this for as long as we've had a football program. And we wanted to come out here, and we're lucky that we're the first team that did do it. It's just overwhelming. And I'm going to get ready to wear that ring. <laughs> Our big player is Tony Romo. Uh, number nine here, he did a nice job in his stadium. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah, I was just waiting for him to come out and shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, yeah. He's been having a rough time, but everybody, you got to keep faith in him. you got to stay with him. He's going to come through. But, uh, yeah, it was, we were all just determined to come out and get a big win and uh, just do it for everyone around. We did it. Wait, on a personal note, that was your son who picked Bad the ball away, super with a fumble out. Especially that for oh, fans. I mean, it's just you know, it's just uh, you know, makes you want to shed a tear right there in the game, you know. And I, I said, was that Walker? Yeah. <laughs> so, we we know he has he's, he doesn't have the greatest hands in the world. They, they can all tell you that. But if he does get it, he can go. And uh, you know, I don't think anybody was going to catch him. And uh, I was real real proud dad at that point. Did you kind of look at it from a football standpoint, like you know, if you still have some football to play, but like that's that was kind of a once you got that folded, you guys definitely rolled the game after that, that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we, we loosened up a little bit. Coaches came down out of the boxes and, and got them down there on the sideline where we could celebrate a little bit and everybody be with their families and that, that great time. And, and uh, uh, you know, I, I just I can't say how proud I am of these kids and not only my son, but the, the, the kids here, the way they played all year long. And, and, you know, everywhere we go, hotels, restaurants, people say, man, those are respectful kids. And, you know, that's what I'm proud of because they're going to leave here. A lot of them are going to play college ball, and uh, they're going to be good citizens. They're going to be good young men and, and for the rest of their lives. And that's what I, that's special for me. Terry, was there any talk during the week about, you know, Justin Fine, Terry Gilbert, one on one? Uh, you guys had a few co collisions today. Yeah, yeah. But how was Not much. You know, I knew he was a good athlete and everything, but <laughs> I was just getting ready to play the other team. <laughs> but we know if we, if we stopped him, it was a different ball game and play physical. And that's about it. Clark Terry doesn't like to brag on himself. 24 touchdowns in the playoffs, 1,100 yards in five games. I know I've asked you this 17 zillion times, but I think he could have gave Jameis Winston a run for the high. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good, oh as you can tell. Yeah, Terry, he's, a, he's an outstanding athlete. I'm, uh, we're lucky to have him. It speaks for itself. I mean, you don't have to hear it from anyone. I mean, his stats speak for it. But uh, it's it's him, and then it's just a, like an offensive line. They do a really good job of giving him open creases. And if you give him a little bit of crease, he's going to go. So they, they all did a good job, and uh, it's just a team effort. Clark, 
what does it mean as a travel fan to play on play at AT&T Stadium? <laughs> I mean, obviously, like I said, they're not doing very good, so <laughs> it kind of gives you it's kind of a bad omen. But I mean, yeah, it's it's really uh, it's really cool to be able to say you played on the same field as Tony Romo, Desmond, and all those guys. Uh, it's just it's a little overwhelming, but I mean, we came out and did our job and got it done. Wait, when you look behind you, you, you live in a town with 2,200. It looks like there's 8,000, 10,000 there behind you almost. You know, was it, what was that like for? I, I know you're focused on the game, but yeah, I saw a lot of red. Oh right? yeah, it, you know, it's very special. And I think back to last week when we came in from uh, the semifinal win, and and cars were just lining the street, uh, honking the horns, and you know, it made your hair on the back of your neck stand up a little bit, and and to, to be from that community and be proud. Uh, you know, it, it was it was it was great feeling. Not only that, you know, that we, we felt we kind of took the role as we're going to represent the Panhandle, and we're probably a little. I would say we're a little closer knit up there than they are in the rest of the regions, and uh, we felt like we were going down there representing the Panhandle. And you know, that shows when we we left town and we stopped, and there was probably approximately 300 elementary kids from Childress, Texas, lined up on the side of the road. We got off, shook their hand, told them thank you, and then their junior high kids were out there. And we get to the next town, 30 miles away, Kwana, all their elementary <laughs> lined up on the highway. Uh, you know, it makes you proud, and, and uh, you know what, once you leave those two communities and all that's taking place, as a coaches, kids, staff, you realize it, it means a lot. Getting close the last several years, how motivating is that to get back and win it your senior year? There's no, I, it really hasn't sunk in yet, but it's it's an emotional win. I mean, because you've been so close, you put so much effort into it. Uh, we, we start, we never stop, actually. We don't ever, I mean, we just come out in the summer. We work out all summer. <coughs> we start in, the, in August, and then when it's over in, the, in, the, in December, we start back up again and get in the weight room and get ready for the next year. So uh, it's been a long time coming, but we're here finally, and uh, we're, we're excited. Questions?